Hello again guys, welcome back to Hammer and Anvil Gaming. This is my Total War Free Kingdoms Sea Shit Legendary Campaign. Um, this is part two, so not much has happened really. Um, we've expanded eastward a bit. Um, we've got missions to capture all of, the, to capture all of these pinned areas. Um, so that's probably just going to continue sort of blitzkrieging through here now, because I don't think there's much of a garrison here at all. No. Hopefully be able to auto-resolve that. Uh, we've got Mulu trespassing in our lands, which is a bit annoying. Uh, he probably isn't going to attack us, and he's just going down for Kupan. If I click on him, it should show that he's at war with them, I think. I think that's how it works. That's how it works on Warhammer, anyway. Um, looks like we've created another army over here. So, um, we do, if I remember correctly, we have Ji Ling in our court, um, who's actually really unhappy, although now he's got a recent, recently hired as a chancellor, he's a bit, bit more satisfied. Um, we're going to try and get him leading an army, because obviously he's a blunt force object, he's supposed to be used to batter enemy to death. Um, I think here, because... I'm going to actually make... I don't often do this, but I'm actually going to make use of the Royal Tax Collector to get that quick boost of income, because uh, we haven't really got much money anyway, and um, we've got plus five public order from administrators, so we don't really need to worry about public order being an issue there. Uh, just quickly check diplomacy before... So we can talk to the Han Empire. Actually, let's just do that for now. Just because we want to support the Han Empire. That's our role. We are a governor, after all. Uh, I don't think there's anyone who's got anyone we can marry. No. No. I'm, I'm pretty sure I checked all of this last episode, but, um... Yeah. 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 Married someone from Liu Da already, and someone from Wang Kong as well. Wang Lang doesn't seem too bothered either. He hasn't got anyone we can marry. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I send it in. So Yuan Shu wants us to acknowledge his legitimacy and he'll pay us 933 gold. Uh, let's accept that because we don't really, we're not too worried about pissing off Dong Zhou. Um, and it's basically free money for a temporary benefit to him. Okay. Uh, Mulu's going through there. Meng Huo declared war on Mulu. That's good. Hopefully that will calls Mulu to go elsewhere instead of... Okay. This place is really unhappy and it's just faction support. Alright, let's make a move on Bushin. Bushan. Bushan. Alright, well, so we predicted low casualties, so I'm happy to delegate that. Let's occupy. Cool. So we killed Ying Xiao in battle. 
got a new title and he's ranked up. Uh, hmm. Okay, so... Not a huge amount of things that we really want that help. Resourcefulness enables flaming shot near in retinue. Mm. So yeah, these have been moved around a little bit. Uh, so we could just go down clarity to get more satisfaction if we really wanted to. It's not a bad choice, to be honest, because... Uh, yeah... But then, the range fire rate does sort of suit him as well. Yeah, or we could do the experience for our units faction-wide. No, let's go with this. Just try and... Yeah. So that's a trade port and a spice market. So we do not need a conscription office here. What's that? Shopkeeper. Uh, we'll leave that for now. Uh, right, okay. Anything changed diplomatically? People just want peace. Okay. Okay, nine turns left until full faction support. Mm, it's probably not going to be enough, is it? Could upgrade to a large town, but we don't have enough. Oh, okay. So this doesn't consume food. That's good. Pretty much only got enough capital to buy a single building. Could just upgrade our capital again. Well, sorry, this isn't even a capital. Sorry, we could upgrade Hepu, um, which might be worth doing. Or the public fisheries gives us more food, but uh, I feel like this might be better. So that's a large town, and that's a large town as well. Yeah, let's just do this. Let's upgrade that. If it looks like it's getting really bad over here, we'll just have to recruit another general, I think. Uh, someone's unhappy. Liu Humin, despite being married into the faction, isn't doing too great. Champions are really crap airs, aren't they? Really shit airs. Give it the stone pig for now.
Yep, let's end the turn unless we can get another. Nope. Zhang Chao has declared war on Liu Da. Okay. A brother joins Shi Wei. Having heard of your prosperity, arrives at the gates. He wishes to join you and help to further nurture these lands. He comes bearing gifts. Naturally, you welcome this member of your family with open arms. Well, wooden ox. Right, so. Family tree, how does this look? Shi Wei, okay, right. So. <laughs> oh, we got so many people we need to marry off. Who's unhappy now? So he's our administrator. Uh, let's do. Yep, scholarship for sure. We want that commerce buff. And then Shi Wei, who is a bit unhappy, let's face it. Let's give him the wooden ox. Uh, we probably want to make him an administrator as well. Okay, the faction support is going down quite quickly, which is good. Let's move on. Uh, Tanjong. Okay, there's not even an army there at the moment, which is good as well. Again, we may as well build tax collection here. There's quite a lot going on up there. Thinking maybe we just want to upgrade this again, just get this going. I think we will. Let's do that for now. I'm not going to upgrade the school. Could upgrade this, seeing as nah, we can't offset the public order penalty at the moment, so I'm not going to bother with that. At the moment, if I wanted to recruit Ji Ling at the moment. Yeah, he's not going to happen. 